my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here's your weekly technical analysis of Paris milling wheat and London UK feed wheat. Paris milling wheat. After the market created a cusp back in late May, we had a resultant break higher, something I'd caution about back then. We had prices rise and fall down through stratified layers of support and resistance. Some of them seemed and still seem quite dense, such as the congestion area we sit right now upon between 238 to 242, containing the March 2013 high at 240, the short medium moving average currently 241, the February 2013 high at 247 on the outside, and the now flatlining medium moving average or slightly on the outside, contain, uh, currently at 243. Above this sits another congestion band between 250 and 255. This time with the 2013 high at 253 within it, as well as the declining long moving average, currently 252. After that, another small congestion band between 258 to 260, with the 2011 high within it at 258, followed by a bit of a deserted area up to some of the most heavy looking congestion available between 267 and 270. All those are, numbers are enough to be going on with for now. The question I posed many weeks ago was whether the moves lower had managed, by their nature, to trigger the beginnings of a new bullish movement. The answer has been the equivalent of a yeah. shoulder shrug and the single word no. The final things I have to say are big picture items. Firstly, the market is still well within the Big Bear channel, currently 191 to 266, highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart and originating from October 2022. Secondly, last week I pointed out the opportunity for last week to become a weekly key reversal, something I've not really seen on the other grain charts. Well, the market chose to dodge that bullet and keep with its indecisive ways and instead form the lesser outside week for last week and then promptly move higher just to show its contempt. Though the market has had a rough time of trying higher, not even making it to the February 2013 high overhead at 247 or even attempting to see the highs in September. Please just bear in mind, the long moving average is heading lower each week towards the market and it will be interesting to see the reactions and actions this may prompt when it enters the frame. London UK feed wheat. The move higher from the May July double bottom pattern reached its climax in mid late July with a combination of an island top that was also part of a small double top, an Adam and Eve type. Since then, prices have moved lower, reaching both primary and secondary targets below for the double top. The moving averages have tried to corral the market with a short medium moving average, currently at 188.70, trying to act as a sort of a cap on any rises. And the medium moving average, currently 188.70, acting more as an attractor for, to the market than as a support or a resistance. Interestingly, the key feature here, and it is a surprising feature, has been the neckline, highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, currently at 183.20, of the May to June reverse head and shoulders bottom, acting as a pretty reasonable support. Though I suspect in the background, the September 2021 low at 181.70, and perhaps more importantly, the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 118.5 have helped prop up prices. This situation, I suspect, is not designed to last, as coming in from above, we have the declining long moving average, currently at 197.55, dropping down to no doubt try and pressure prices lower. You can see the effect it had back in late July, capping the market for small double top. It is some time yet until the long moving average drops into the frame, but I would keep a close eye on it, as I suspect the room for manoeuvre of this market may be becoming quite restricted, especially as we've seen this week the market rising up to greet the long moving average. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.